Now let us solve this problem. Find the generating function for the recurrence relation a n plus a n minus 1 plus 6 minus 6 into a n minus 2 is equal to 0 for n greater than or equal to 2 with a naught equal to minus 1 and a 1 equal to 8. So, first we have to determine the order of the recurrence relation. In order to determine the order, we have to subtract the minimum subscript from the maximum subscript. Here the minimum subscript is n minus 2, whereas maximum subscript is n. So, n minus n minus 2 means n n will be cancelled. So, minus of minus 2 is nothing but plus 2. So, the given recurrence relation is a second order homogeneous recurrence relation. So, we know that. So, the given recurrence relation is a second order homogeneous. Why? Because here the right hand side is is 0. So, the given recurrence relation is a second order homogeneous recurrence relation. So, we know the formula the generating function the generating function for the second order for the second order homogeneous homogeneous recurrence relation is of the form is of the form a n plus 2 plus a into a n plus 1 plus b into a n equal to b into a n equal to pi of n for n is greater than or equal to 0. So, this is the formula. Uh, but here this is in the form the given recurrence relation is in this form. So, we do not have n plus 2. So, that is why in place of n we have to substitute n plus 2. Why? Because we do not have a n plus 2 here. So, substitute substitute n plus 2 in place of n in place of n. So, in place of n substitute n plus 2 a n plus 2 plus a into in place of n substitute n plus 2 next we have minus 1 minus 6 into a in place of n substitute n plus 2 minus 2 is equal to here we have 0 for in place of n we have to substitute n plus 2 n plus 2 greater than or equal to 2. So, now we will get a n plus 2 plus a n plus 2 minus 1 means 1 minus 6 into a 2 minus 2 will be cancelled n is equal to 0 for n if we move 2 towards this side then 2 minus 2 means 0 for n greater than or equal to 0. So, now we have to compare these two recurrence relations. So, now our recurrence relation is in this form. So, on comparison we will get here we have n plus 2 n plus 2 here what is a value here the constant is 1. So, on comparison, so we will get a as 1, a as 1, here a constant is 1. Next, what about b? Here we have minus 6, b a n minus 6 a n. So, b value is minus 6. What is pi of n? Pi of n equal to 0. Pi of n equal to 0 for n greater than or equal to n greater than or equal to. So, so these are the values. Uh, now, we have to write the generating functions. So, we need to remember these two formulas. So, the generating functions are the generating functions are so, we have to remember g of x as well as f of x. Here, the formula for g of x is g of x equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity g of x is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity pi of n into x power n. So, here what is pi value? Pi of n is 0. So, if you substitute 0 in place of pi of n, then 0 into anything is nothing but 0 only. So, here the result of g of x is 0. Now, we have to calculate f of x. Here the formula for the f of x is f of x equal to a naught plus a 1 plus a naught a into x plus x square into 
g of x by 1 plus a plus a x plus b x square. So, this is the formula. Whereas, if it is first order homogeneous recurrence relation, then the formula will be different. Okay. A naught plus A one x by one minus A x. That formula is different. Okay. Whereas here this is nothing but a second order recurrence relation. So if it is second order recurrence relation, then we we need to remember this formula. F of x equal to A naught plus A one plus A naught A into x plus x square into g of x by one by A A one by A plus one plus A x plus B x square. Now let us substitute the values. So for space constraints, uh, I am erasing this portion. Now these statements are no longer needed. So f of x equal to f of x equal to a naught. What is a naught value? A naught value is given in the problem. That is minus one. So minus one plus a one. What is a one? A one is given as eight. Eight plus what is a naught? Minus one. Minus one, a naught minus one. Whereas what is a value? A value is one. On comparison, we got a value into x into x plus x square into g of x. What is g of x value? It is zero into zero by one plus a x one plus what is a value one? So one into x means x plus b x square. What is b minus six? So minus six into x square means minus six x square. So that is equal to minus one plus eight plus minus one into one means minus one. Eight plus into minus means minus. Eight minus one means seven. So seven into x means seven x. Seven x plus x square into zero means zero. Zero plus seven x means seven x only. By here we have six x square minus six x square plus x plus one. So let us find out the root roots. So one is three x, another one is two x. Why? Because three x minus two x means x. Three x into minus two x is nothing but minus six x square. So here one root is one plus three x. Second one is minus two x minus six x square. So we can write this as seven x minus one by. If you observe the first one, so let us write first two, two first one first two as this. Next, if you observe the next two. two So minus two x is common, so one plus three x minus two x is common. Yeah, one plus three x, one plus three x. So we can write this as seven x minus one by. So what is one root? One plus three x. Second one is one minus two x. So this is nothing but f of x formula. So what is f of x here? Seven x minus one by. One plus three x into one minus two x. Now let us take the partial fractions. Now let us take partial fractions. Now let us take partial fractions. So we can write this as seven x minus one f of x equal to. So that formula. So seven x minus one by. One plus three x into one minus two x equal to. So these are the partial fractions. First one is a. One a by one plus three x plus b by one minus two x. Now let us calculate the LCM. For before that, so let us write this one. Seven x minus one by one plus three x into one minus two x equal to. Let us calculate the LCM. So one plus three x into one minus two x. So one plus three x, one plus three x will be cancelled. So a into one minus two x plus b into one plus three x. So here one plus three x into one minus two x. So these two will be cancelled. So we can write this as seven x minus one equal to a minus two a into x plus b plus three b into x. So seven x minus one equal to. So here what is the constant part? A plus B plus here X is common, so minus two A plus three B. Now we can equate the constant coefficients as well as this X power one, X power one coefficients. 
So now we can write as a plus b equal to minus 1. a plus b equal to minus 1. And what is the next one? Plus x. So we can equate this one. So minus 2a plus 3b equal to. So x into minus 2a plus 3b equal to 7x. So xx will be cancelled. So we minus 2a plus 3b equal to 7. So now from these two we have to produce a and b. So let us multiply this equation by 2. So 2a plus 2b equal to minus 2. Second one minus 2a plus 3b equal to 7. So 2a minus 2a is cancelled. So 5b. So 5b equal to 5. So b value is 1. Now we know that a equal to a plus b equal to minus 1. So a equal to minus 1 minus b. So minus 1 minus b means minus 1 minus 1. That is a value is minus 2. So what is a value? A value is minus 2. So now let us substitute the corresponding values in the partial fractions. So here what is the f of x equal to? f of x equal to? So this is f of x. So what is the first one? a by 1 plus 3 plus x. Let us substitute a value and b value in the partial fractions. a, a value is minus 2. So minus 2 by so what is the value? 1 plus 3x plus what is b value? 1, 1 by b value is 1, 1 by 1 minus 2x. So now let us now let us find out the generating function from this equation. So we can write this as minus 2 into so 1 by a power minus a power m means we can write this as 1 plus 3x whole power minus 7. Why? Because a power minus m equal to 1 by a power m. So 1 by 1 plus 3x whole power 1. That is nothing but 1 by 1 plus 3x. Next we can write this as 1 minus 2x whole power minus 1. Why? Because a power minus m equal to 1 by a power m. Next here we have a formula called 1 minus x whole power minus 1 equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity x power n. So this is the formula. So we can write this as minus 2. 1 plus 3x can be written as 1 minus of minus 3x whole power minus 1. So minus into minus means plus only. Plus we can write this as we, we have to write in this form 1 minus x form. So 1 minus same 1 minus 2x whole power minus 1. So minus 2 into. So we, this is in the form of 1 minus x whole power minus 1. But in place of x we have minus 3x. So here the formula is sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. In place of x substitute 3x. 3x whole power n plus this is in this form only. Sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. So 1 minus x whole power minus 1 equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity x power n. So here what is x? 2x whole power n. Here there is no need to write minus. Why? Because here we have minus. But here in this we don't have minus. Okay. So we can write this as minus 2 sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. So divide the constant and exponents 3 power n x power n plus sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity 2 power n x power n. So if we observe the first two equations minus 2 yeah, if you observe the equation what is the common one? So sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity x power n is common in both the equations. So minus 2 into 3 power 1 is here the remaining term. Whereas here the remaining term is 2 power n. So here we have to we have to divide this one. So this is nothing but the generating function. Here the generating function is in the form sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity x power n a n. So this a n is nothing but the generating function. So minus 2 into 3 power n plus 2 power n. So in this way we can solve uh, the generating function for any recurrence relation very very easily. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for